can hear you from six blocks away. Sorry. Don't be. I like it. Um, I'm just not sure how the neighbors would feel. Which, by the way, is not a thing someone lacking in compassion would be concerned with. How's your patient's leg? Carved all to hell, but still on her body. Uh, we're watching it overnight. What's going on? Never in my career have I questioned a fellow surgeon and their OR. I'd never understood what the problem was. An intern dating and attending until today. Pretty spectacular recovery, Claire. Really? Do you think it's going to be okay? I think we got almost all of the necrotic tissue. A few times in a hyperbaric chamber, and I'm thinking you'll be out of the woods. Thank you for saving my leg. My pleasure. Now, Dr. Karev here will explain a hyperbaric chamber. Dr. Karev? Thank you, Dr. Heron. A hyperbaric chamber. I'll take that apology any time. Apologize. You crossed the line. I'm not apologizing. You made me cross the line. Oh, like I can make you do anything? That's not your fault. It's mine. I'm your teacher. I'm supposed to be. But you came to me as your boyfriend, and I responded that way. I'm not used to being wrong. I know, but you're an intern. Second guessing a resident is not your job. She's with Alex. I can't do this in front of Alex. Well, you can and you will. E excuse me, why aren't you apologizing? I I'm an attending. I don't apologize to residents. You, on the other hand, are an intern. Sydney, I just wanted to, uh, just wanted to, um, apologize for, you know, overstepping. I'm sorry. Well, that's the compassion I was looking for. Apology accepted. <laughs> okay, you want to hug it out? Oh, <laughs> hug. Oh, yeah. Come on. 